and gold, which contributed nearly 25% of India's manufacturing GDP, today contributes less than 3%. Exact numbers can always be put forward. And let us just Bengal. Which having been one of the richest states of India, its annual per capita income was one of the highest in the country in 1947. Today it is ranked in one of the bottom most. West Bengal's growth rate was 5.5 percent, while all India average was just 4.6 percent. It was higher than the national average. And this was up to say 2010. But gradually it has come down further and further that today we are seeing a Bengal bereft of all its industries. Industries are not remaining here. And if your per capita income is coming down, Industry is not here to generate jobs. Your per capita consumption expenditure will naturally be lesser. As of 25th February 2024, this year, in both the rural and urban areas, Bengal's monthly per capita consumption expenditure, which is a very strong indicator to understand how people are able to spend for their families. It was one of the lowest in Bengal. Bengal ranked the lowest in rural, sixth lowest in rural, and eighth lowest in urban categories. It is not to say that some states are better, some states are poor. Northeastern states you would tend to think because they cut off, the communication and also connectivity are all improving. They are smaller in terms of total economic activity. And therefore, when I say this, it is not to say Northeast is less and Bengal is better or Bengal is this and Northeast is not. But they are relatively smaller in terms of the total economic activity which can happen in those states.